Hey traders, silver and gold time. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Hey traders, I've just recorded the video showing you the most powerful chart reading technique that has worked ever since the market started. As you know, but learning how to read the charts is very important to your trading success. So click on the box above that says PT method to get access now. All right, hey traders, silver and gold time. Let's have a quick look at what's happening over the last couple months with silver and gold. As we can see, very, I was talking about this last week, but you can see this move up here with actual, with, with, uh, you can see this move up here when it comes to uh, when it comes to silver. You had this nice run up, little pullback, and a nice run up. It's just, it was very. It was, you can see it was very slow, very choppy, and then we had this big strong selling. So we may get a little rise out of this here, guys. But it's actually the sellers are definitely, definitely in control here. I definitely want to be buying gold right now and looking onto silver. The exact same thing as well too. We actually can see that we're looking at the support and resistance levels, guys. We can see that the market came down through here, and this is the support level here. So I expect the market to come back down to there somewhere and and find a bit of support. We can see we actually had this support and resistance level through here. We did come down, find support, but we failed to follow through. We broke past that support. Now we're broken past that support. So this may actually start to form a little maybe maybe a bit of a sideways movement, and maybe even drop back down through to here as well too. So, um, pretty strong selling through there. Now, I said last week, guys, that I expect the market to start rising in the gold mining stocks. That's exactly what happened last week on Friday. Uh, I didn't expect it to happen that day, but hey, I'll take that. So you can see this market starting to rise. We've got a little volume behind it as well too. So I'm actually expecting, uh, I'm actually expecting a, a lot more, a bit, a bit more follow through when it comes to the gold mining stocks. Um, you know the GDX, and I'm expecting um, you know some silver and gold, silver and gold stocks to start to, especially the the gold miners. I'm expecting um, you know that that to actually continue rise. If I look at the GDXJ, the GDXJ, uh, you can see a little small sideways movement update, good volume. So I'm expecting a lot more follow through now when it comes to when it comes to ah. Uh, let me have a look at. Where am I here? I want to put this in silver and gold. There we go. Cool. Uh, so you can see this market here. I'm expecting at least at least a, a little bit more follow through when it comes to that. If I look at the weekly chart there, you can see we have a little bit of support and resistance where we are right now. So I'm expecting that to hold, and I'm expecting that we we actually could start to see a nice rise back, at, right, nice rise back, uh, back up, at, back, uh, back up out of this as well too. So you can see basically what's happening through there. You can see this sideways movement through here. So. Um, so yeah, so really, really interesting to see uh, this, or this sort of uh, resistance here, support, 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 and now resistance through here. All right, so uh, I'm expecting a bit more of a rise, but if we, we do, we definitely do have a, a, a level of through here that is resistance. If we break past through there, guys, this could be the start of a nice move moving higher. Let's go to the six month view. And you can see basically, you can see things are changing. A little sideways movement, up moving, come back down. Again, we do have this all this resistance through here. So I'm expecting a little bit more upward movement. Probably get into the 36, uh, the 36 area, maybe maybe a bit lower. So yeah, sort of the $36, $36 area. Find a bit of resistance. If we break past that, then this could be the start of a new, really nice new trend. So breaking past the 50 moving average, you can see. Uh, is, is putting it definitely putting it back into bearish territory but this recent movement here is definitely starting to see uh, a, a movement to the high side so so guys what I want to do in this video as well too is I want to talk to you guys about some things I was talking about yesterday all right I, talk, I did a video yesterday and I had some people basically uh, I know some people thinking like John what are you talking about I'm not sure what you're talking about what are you saying etc 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 all right so yesterday I'm not going to go into what options are. As you guys know, I like to trade options. I really am a big option trader. Uh, that's actually that's all I trade myself, just options. And uh, and and I was saying that I, I I want to put on a more of a like a wealth building strategy when it comes to long term wealth building strategy when it comes to silver and gold. All right. So uh, and so I said I was looking to do this. Now I'm not sure if you guys know. I'm give you a bit of a options basics for you guys that don't know. Uh, if I spend say a hundred dollars on an option that only can go to zero, it can't go any lower, but the option can go up, you know, 
300 400 500 makes sense so um so i'm just going to keep it i'm going to keep it that simple okay i'm not going to get into options basics here but i'm going to give you the rundown of what i'm looking to do on say slv so what I'm looking to do on SLV is I'm looking to buy way out of the money. Uh, way, this, I'm looking to buy one a couple of years with a time frame, and I'm looking to buy way out of the money. So if I look at this, let me go back to the weekly chart here for a minute, and I can see where we are. We can see this is the twenty dollar here. This was the twenty dollar up here. Um, so that's the twenty dollars. So you know, so maybe even like at the twenty dollar level. So you know, I'd buy like say a twenty dollar call option. And then uh, you know maybe like a maybe like a, a, a like down the bottom here. What is this down the bottom here? What's that? What's that? What's that down the bottom there? Maybe even like, maybe even like a fifteen dollar option. You know like how that's a that's a you know it's a twenty five dollar rise. So I might even buy like uh, you know the strategy I'm looking at doing guys is a bit more of an advanced sophisticated strategy. But I'm expecting some long. I'm expecting a long term. I'm expecting a long term bull market over the next couple of years out of this, right? So I'm expecting. To, I'm going to look to buy like way out of the money call option. And, and again, guys, the, the strategy I'm about to tell you, the you know, I could actually lose money in this. Okay, so don't go don't go out and place your trade thinking you're going to make them definitely going to make money because it, it could just go sideways. You could lose money. So way out of the money call option, and then I might buy say a say a fifteen dollar a fifteen dollar option as well too. And if we do get a drop basically down through here, maybe even a bit lower. Because it may go a bit lower, right? We may even go a bit lower. We don't know. If it does do that, well, then um, then, then I, I could pick up a nice little return on that as well too, uh, on, on that trade through there. So I'm looking to do that. Now, let me actually bring up here. Uh, let me bring up, and I always want to bring up, say, Yahoo Finance here. And I just want to, I just want to give you guys a quick rundown here. So let me bring up, say, uh, SLV. And I hope they've actually got a couple of years. I haven't actually looked this up yet, uh, but I hope they definitely, I hope they have uh, a couple of years worth of, so let me go to the option prices. I want to see what is the, where is the latest, like, where is the latest I can buy options out of this? So I can buy January 2000, so January 2018. Now that's not, that's not, it's not giving me long enough. Uh, let's go buy, let's look at January 2019. So I want to look at that there, guys, and um, as you can see, I want to look at the prices and see what they're actually offering here. So uh, January two thousand, and I'm looking at a dollar through here. So you know, because guys, if I if I go back to the option prices, I do expect to see by January two thousand nineteen that we could actually see maybe even a fifty dollar, you know, maybe even fifty dollar price. Now, guys, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? If we look at say. Uh, say the twenty dollar option here, right? Or let's just go say the twenty one dollar option. Let's just go say, let's just say for example, it's going to cost me a dollar. Let's just keep 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 the number simple there, right? It's going to cost me a dollar. So so if it's going to cost me one dollar, right? So it's going to cost me one dollar. Um, and so obviously you know, so it's going to cost me one dollar. So one contract, um. One contract is going to cost me one hundred dollars. Okay, so it's times basically one hundred shares. With me so far? So if I buy, say, it's going to cost me one hundred dollars. Now, um, if I do say, if I do say, this, this is this is co let's just keep the number simple here, right? If I do say a thousand dollar, a a thousand dollar, um, uh, a thousand dollar, um, what am I looking for? Say a thousand dollar investment here, okay? So if I did a thousand dollar investment, it cost me say one dollar. Maybe I went to the twenty two, maybe I went to twenty one. Okay, look again. Look, look where, look what I'm buying. I'm buying January twenty nine, right? January twenty nine. So let's just say I did, I did that. Maybe even twenty two, right? I went down through here. So let's just say, for example, I did that, and uh, I went say twenty one, twenty two, and it cost me, it's cost me a thousand dollars to actually do the trade, right? Long term. So if I did, if I, if I, if it cost me a thousand dollars to do the trade. So this again, again, guys, we're talking long term here. We're talking January 2019. We're talking like a good, uh, as you can see, it's almost two years worth of time, right? So if I did do that, and it cost me a thousand dollars, then that'll be say at again, keep the number simple. Say 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 at 21. All right, say 21. Now, if you guys know about anything about options, 21. Let's just keep the number simple. Let's just say 21. If the market does rise from here and we do get an explosion in silver, we do get back up to 50. Well, that $21 option, what's it going to be worth at least? What's it going to be worth at least, guys? You guys know this, right? With a call option. So if we do get an explosion in silver and gold, 
And 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 that one dollar option, say I cost it cost me one thousand dollars, say at twenty one, twenty one. If the if 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 I've got an option at say at twenty one, let's just let's, again let's let's just keep the numbers simple here. If I've got an option here at say tw if I've got say an option at twenty and it cost me say one dollar, I know it's not going to cost one dollar, but I'm trying to keep the numbers simple. If if I buy an option at at twenty for a couple of years and we do get an explosion over the next couple of years and we go up to fifty dollars. Well, that what is that option going to be worth at least? So I bought it for say one dollar, and it rises up to rises up to uh, fifty. So what's that? You got ten, twenty. So you got thirty dollars, right? So your one dollar option is now worth at least say thirty dollars. Do you see what I'm saying there, guys? You so John, how does that work? Because of the intrinsic value. Right, so it's it's got to be worth at least that because that's that that's the intrinsic value in the call option. So I'm buying long term, and again, there's no guarantees this working out. We could just keep doing this, right? We could actually have a big spike up and then come straight back down, right? Well, I don't know. There's no guarantees this working out, but I'm just letting you know some some strategies I'm doing for long term to show you what I'm doing long term, okay? Because I think we can get some some pretty big movements, especially like on the GDX and and stuff like that. Make sense? So again, guys, what am I doing here? Is I'm buying. What am I doing here is I'm buying January 2019. So I'm giving it a good couple of years. So let's 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 do let's do the numbers here for a minute, okay guys? So let me let me type in here, let me type in uh, percentage. Uh, let me go through here. Let me type in the percentage calculator. Uh, right, percentage calculator. So if if I go to the percentage calculator and and I buy something for say $1, one dollar and it's now worth say thirty dollars. That's all. That's basically almost a three thousand percent increase, right? A three thousand percent increase from one dollar to one dollar to thirty dollars. With me so far? So, uh, if if I had um, so if I had say two thousand, so two thousand, what's two thousand percent of two thousand nine hundred percent of say one one dollar. Calculate that. That's twenty nine dollars. Uh, so sorry, two thousand. So one thousand. You're looking at say twenty nine thousand dollars, right? But if I had, and this is where it gets again, guys. This is the long term, right? Again, guys, like it could go up to a hundred, right? We could get an explosion. We could really go up to a hundred if it went up. If that's fifty, right? If it went up to a hundred, then it's going to be worth at least sixty dollars. Again, we're talking long term. We we don't know, right? It could go up to sixty, and now it's worth almost three thousand percent. Right. If you have, a, and just say I put say ten thousand dollars on the trade. Again, this is more of a like a, what I call a wealth builder strategy. It's trying, I'm trying to capitalize on the long term movement. So I put ten thousand dollars on the trade, and we say it's at, at five thousand, five thousand, and, and we do get an explosion, say up to say one hundred over the next couple of years, and I calculate that. As you can see, that's almost six hundred grand, six hundred grand from a ten thousand dollar investment. Now, what is the risk? What is the risk in this? What is the risk in this strategy? The risk is that it doesn't work out, right? The risk is that the market just goes sideways, and that's the risk. So, what I'll also be doing is I'll also be buying an out of the money. So, maybe in a fifteen dollar, I'll also be buying an out of the money uh, put option. You're like John. Why would you do that? Well, if I spend, if I spend ten thousand dollars, if I spend, let's just do this here. If I spend long term, if I spend long term ten thousand dollars on an out of the money option. Ten thousand dollars on an out of the money option. Well, this is again. Let's just keep the number simple here. Let's just say one thousand. If I buy, say, one thousand dollar here, one thousand dollar here, and then I buy down the bottom here, I buy another one thousand dollar option here. What am I doing? If the market does drop down first, I believe long term silver and gold is going to go up. Yes, but what if we do? What if for the next few months we actually get a big drop down? Well, my one thousand dollar investment here. That could be worth maybe two, maybe maybe a hundred percent, maybe two hundred percent. If it's worth, if it's worth say two hundred percent, if the market drops down, right, out of the money options worth two hundred percent. Well, how much is this worth? I made two hundred percent. Two hundred percent of that is worth now say three thousand dollars, right? Well, what what would happen if that would happen? What would happen if that happened? Well, I would actually sell my entire put option. Uh, remember my my entire strategy, right? The 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 put option cost me a thousand dollars. Um, or ten grand, or whatever you're thinking of. The the call option cost me a thousand dollars. Again, that's just what that's just what I'm looking at there. And so the whole investment will cost me a thousand dollars, right? Or if it's ten thousand dollars here, it's cost me twenty thousand dollars. Whatever you want to, whatever you train. So 
So if the market does drop down a lot, that $1,000 could be worth a couple hundred percent. Now, guess what? My total investment here was 2K, right? 2K or 20K or whatever you want to put on. Okay. And so, but if the market does drop down, now my hundred, my, my thousand dollar, my thousand dollar trade is now at say 200%. I'm going to sell my put option only, keep my call option there and, and bank say, yeah, you know, banks say a thousand dollars profit here, or maybe say you know ten thousand dollars profit, if it was say a ten thousand dollar position, and now I've actually got all my investment back from the strategy plus a profit, and I've still got my call option there. Make sense? And then and then you know, no matter what happens, I can't lose any money if we do get a big booming rise out of silver and gold in the next couple of years, and I'm gonna capitalize on it. You know what I mean? So if I go back and have a look at the actual put option prices, then you could actually see. So we actually go down to here. We actually can see around about, and so I try to I try to get the exact I try to get the exact same amount of dollar figure, right? So you can see uh, around about, so around about twenty one, you could probably get some, maybe a dollar, maybe a bit a bit, a bit above a dollar, and same for the fourteen dollars, right? So fourteen dollar put option here, you can get the same same for there as well too. Um, so you can see that if the market does drop down to say, uh, you know, 14 or even lower, well then you can see, you can see the, the return there, right? You can see how that, you could get 100% return. But that's how this strategy works long term guys, okay? This is something I don't normally talk about, but if you're looking for long term, if you do this and you allow the trade to move long term, you could pick up some pretty amazing trends. And, and, and as you and as you let this thing unfold, right? You can see, you can see, and you pick up some pretty, pretty amazing things. So. There we go, guys. Again, guys, the the risk to this strategy is this. The risk to this strategy is where the market is right now. Let me go back to the daily option. The risk to this strategy is this, guys, is that the market just keep market just does that, right? The market the market might go up maybe a lot and then maybe come back down a lot, or it might go down a lot and I don't sell my put option. The market comes back up, so I could actually lose, you know, a hundred percent of my option. Um, if you know, I could lose a hundred percent of my investment on both the call and put here. So you've got to be smart about the way you're trading it and so on and so forth. But I wanted to share with you, again, January 2019, what do we got there? We've got, uh, you know, again, almost, almost two years worth of time frame. And this is the best way that I can say that I capitalize on what I believe is going to happen in the markets. No one knows what's going to happen, but I believe the next couple of years we'll like to see some havoc. So guys, I'll be looking to do this on, say, silver price. I'll be looking to do this, say, on the, um, on the SPY. Why the SPY? Because if I go back to the weekly chart again, and I squeeze this up, you know, I believe we're going to start. I believe the next next say year or so we're going to be in a bear market. I, I just I just believe that, you know. And I look at some other things, say say things like maybe the G, JDXJ, you know, and I and I look at this here and I see what's happening through here on the JDXJ, you know, or or maybe just the GDX, and I say okay, you know, the GDX here, the GDX absolutely high point is up here. If I do what I say on a thirty dollar option. Again, looking at that time frame. Again, I don't know if I can buy like two years worth of time frame on the option, but if I if I buy an option, say again, say thirty dollars, and just say it's worth say one dollar, right? And the thing rises, and the thing rises up to sixty dollars from thirty dollars to sixty dollars. Heck, even up to seventy dollars. My one dollar option is now worth say forty dollars. You're looking at thousands and thousands of percent return. But again, it's a long term strategy. Makes sense, guys? It's an absolute long term strategy. So as you can see here, that you're risking 100% of your investment really to potentially make you know thousands and thousands and thousands percent return when it comes to that. So, but you need time in the markets. And again, there's no guarantees of ma no, making money out of this strategy. But I wanted to wanted to let you guys know about what I'm doing. Again, be smart about your investment, guys. Okay, there's no guarantees of this making money. I can lose money, and I've done. I, I I've been doing trading like this, and sometimes when the market goes into low volatility, a low volatile phase. You know, you, you can, right? When the market goes in low volatile phase, mm, you can lose a lot of money in this. All right. So I'm not saying I'm not saying do this. I'm just saying that you need a lot more education. You need to pick the right markets, and you, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, right, guys? Like, you know, you could actually lose 100% of your investment in this strategy. That's what it's like because you're buying way out of the money options. If the market does nothing for a couple of years, or market goes up a little bit, down a little bit, you know, you could actually get in real, real, real big trouble. Are you with me so far, guys? So anyway, guys, that hope that works for you. I hope, hope that makes sense to you guys. I just wanted to share with you some things that I'm doing. I hope this makes sense to you guys as well too, 
right? You give yourself a good couple of years by the time frame, and uh, and th then just do that. Um, again, guys, for me, it's 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 all about capitalizing on some really long-term major trends that I think is going to happen over the next couple of years, um, and then and doing that in a way where I think so. I think GDX is going to rise, and we're going to get a big booming rise over the next couple of years. You know, maybe even back up to the mid 50s, maybe 60s, whatever. Maybe I don't know, depending on what we're going into right now. But um, you know, you know. But if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong and the market doesn't and the market tanks, well, that's the reason why I've got the put option there as well too. So at least I can protect myself if the market tanks. I could pick up a few hundred percent return of out of the money put option. I can I can then get my investment back and stuff like that. What is the risk? The risk is that the market does go down. I don't sell, and the market or the market just simply just goes sideways for a good couple of years. It doesn't, you know, it does. It did. It's. it's it, it does basically what it has done for the last couple of years, which is basically 2013, 14, 15, it's done nothing, as you can see, right? Just absolutely nothing. So there we go, guys. I hope this makes sense. Don't place a trade based on what you've seen in this video, guys, because you know you can lose 100% on that option, but I wanted to share this with you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to get more free education about trading, then click on the box that says free trading course. This is a free trading course. It goes for around 12 hours long. It's about 12 videos long. It covers everything from chart reading, mindset, trading systems, money management, trade management, everything you need to get yourself ahead in the markets. And if you'd like to get my help personally, then click on the box that says get John's help and you'll be able to see how you can get my help personally. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.